Okay, we are just about done with our body of the, the blanket. And so what we want to do, I have just about finished. I'm getting to the end of row 78, just ready to do the last square of that row. So I do my chain three, double crochet in the space, the chain space. So I've got my chain three and three double crochets. And then I want to do my slip stitch into the chain space of the square from the previous row. And there we've got row 78 finished. Then, as you've been doing on this whole decrease half of the blanket, we're going to do our turn. I'm going to turn it this way. And do our final row 79. But we needed to do a chain one. And then, as you've been doing, slip stitch in the top of the first double crochet slip stitch in the top of the second double crochet, slip stitch into the top of the third double crochet, then into the chain space, and we're ready to finish with row 79. And what we need to do then is chain three, double crochet three of them, as we know, into the chain three space. There's our last square and now we find our chain three space from the last square of row 78. Do our slip stitch and we're going to just finish this off with a chain stitch. Okay. And there we have the entire body of our afghan finished. And I'm going to cut this off and then we're going to be ready to start our border. Now I have cut my yarn and I'm going to just pull that through so this is fastened off and leave that length of yarn so I can work those ends in later. But notice that we have the last corner of our blanket ready to go. At this point, our square for the body of the blanket is finished, and now what we want to do is border number one, or the first round of border out of the, um, the three. So what we want to do, and actually the easiest way to do this, is I'm going to do a slip stitch again, or a slip knot, I should say, and put that on my hook. And then I'm going to find the corner of my blanket and in the corner, right in the top of the um, chain three part of that square, I'm going to go in and I'm going to pull up and do two single crochets, two single crochets for the corner. Now for the corners, this one, all corners will have three single crochets on this round, but when I start and end, I always start with two single crochets and then I do, uh, when I finish the, the round, I do the last or the third single crochet in this final corner. So what we're going to do is we've got the two starting single crochets in that corner and then I'm going to chain three two, three, and then notice that here's the, the square right here. I'm going to skip over that over to this opening between the squares. And I'm going to put a single crochet in that opening, not in any particular stitch, just in that space, and do a single crochet. Okay. Then I'm going to do one, two, three single crochets, skip the square, skip this square, find the space right next to it, 
and do a single crochet in that space. Okay. And three chains, one, two, three. And then I'm going to skip over that square, skip this square, go into this space and do a single crochet. Not a slip stitch, but a single crochet. Okay, and I'm going to continue doing this all the way down the side. So three chains, skip the square, into the space after the square with a single crochet, not a slip stitch. Okay. And continuing down. One, two, three chains. Skip the square into the space after it. Single crochet. All the way along. Now for some blankets, you can just have this as the final border. You actually, with this blanket or any corner to corner, you don't have to put any more borders on it at all after you get the big square done. But in this case, we're using it for a little bit more elaborate type of border. So here we go again. We're doing our chain three, skip the square, and into the space after it. And you can see how it's kind of fitting right along the edge of that, um, of those squares. And again, we continue on. One, two, three. Skip the, skip the um, square and single crochet into the next space. And that's what you're going to do all the way until you get to the corner. And I'll let you do that. And then I'll be back to go through how exactly that you want the corner to look. Okay, have fun. So now I've gotten on my particular blanket, I have my edging, the first side done, almost to the corner. So we'll just finish up. I've got my chain three, and I'm going to do my single crochet in the space on, between those last two squares, like so. And then I'm going to do my final chain three for this side. And then what you want to do is just find the easiest place for you in the corner to put three crochets. And so kind of just figure out where you want to go um, and put your hook in and do three crochets in the same corner spot. So this gets you kind of ended on one side and ready to turn to the next. So you've got three crochets and this is how you'll do the next two corners also. And so you do, did your three crochets, now three chains and a single crochet in the space between the first and second square. Okay, like so. And then it's just the same as you did for the first side. So chain three, skip the square and single crochet in the space between the squares. Chain three, three, skip the square, go into the space between the squares and do that all the way to the next corner. And when you get to the next corner, you're going to do three single crochets in the corner stitch. And then you'll do it again on the third side and then the fourth side, and when you get to the final corner, remember we did two single crochets in the corner, now when you get there you'll do a final one single crochet in the same stitch where you did the two, and then slip stitch to the, the first of those two single crochets, and we're ready to start second row, and that'll be the, on our next day together. So good luck and have fun doing your first round of the border. Thank you.